In this video, I'm going to talk about classes in C++. So classes is a way to organize methods and variables uh, that serve a specific purpose. So let's look at an example. So let's start off with include IO stream and then our main function. So the syntax to make a class is to have the class keyword and then the name of your class. We're going to make an animal class here and then you have your curly braces, and then at the end of the curly braces, you're going to have um, the semicolon. And inside, you're going to specify what's called public and private. So public will be things that can be accessed to people using the class outside of the class definition, and then private is things that can only be used inside the class. So we'll go into more detail about what that means. But typically in the public, you have your constructor. So the constructor is when you create an instance of your class, it's going to set some properties. Maybe you have some variables you want to set. So that's what the constructor is for. So let's say we have an animal, and then maybe we want to give it a name and weight. So let's include string, because we're going to use a string for the name. So inside, there's actually two ways to make your constructor. So uh, the standard way, we could do something like std string, and then we'll put name, and then let's put a weight here. And inside, we could have some private, we're going to set our private variables. So um, one convention that some people might like to use is to have like std string, and then they'll use the m to show as like a member variable. So we'll follow that notation. And then we're going to have an int m weight. OK, so that's the private variables. And then inside, you want to set your name to name. And then you have your um, weight to weight. So now you're storing the inputs of whatever the user chooses into your private variables. So the way you would declare your animal would be something like uh, animal, and let's say our animal variable name is called moji and then inside the animal name moji and then 10 let's say 10 pounds is the weight okay so that's how you create uh objects so if i run this in debug you should you should be able to see the object is created so OK, so sometimes if uh, your program is having issues running, you would just need to close your terminal and then try running it again. So we're going to run it again after I close it. So actually, we're going to go to the debug. So we're going to start debugging. And you can see here that there's a variable called moji. And if you hover over it, it's a type animal. And then we have a name and a weight. OK, so inside you can see the name here, Moji, and that's how you make an animal. So like we said, there's another way you could create your constructor. So it's a more compact way using the initializer list. So we would still have this part the same. Uh, the thing that would change now is um, you would set, you have a colon, and then it's underneath or on the same line, depending on if it's short enough. I usually like to have it. Continue to the second line. So you could have a M name, and then inside you pass in the variable, and then followed by another, um, the other variable that we have, and then you pass in weight, and then you have your open and close curly braces. Okay, so these two statements or these two chunks of code does exactly the same thing. So if I run the code, you can see that it runs. And if you debug, we could see that. The variable is also created here, so that's no problem. OK, and if we didn't have anything, usually the C++ will have a default constructor. Um, but here, we're going to have a special constructor that we're choosing. OK, so that's for the constructor. You also have a destructor. And destructor is what will destroy the uh, object when it becomes out of scope. But here, because um, depending on if you have certain things you actually want to implement inside the destructor, that will go inside here. But for now, we're not going to do anything. So 
when you don't do any logic, you, you typically don't need to write out the destructor because there's going to be one by default, but this is how you would make one if you did need it. Okay, so inside we may have some methods. So you could have um, methods or just any functions that's inside a class that you may want your animal class to have. So maybe we have a void make sound. And inside we have std, c out, and then maybe the animal is sleeping. So it's making some zz noises. Okay, so to call this uh, function, you would say emoji dot make sound. And if I run this, you see the zz shows up. Okay, so that's how you would call a function from that's been implemented inside a class. Okay, so there's two types of functions besides just like basic functions that do something, and then there's what's called the getters and setters. So because these private variables you don't have access to, so like for example, if I set emoji dot you see that the private variables don't show up here, right? So the issue with that, um, the, to solve that issue, right, you need to have the get function or like a, a getter or setter. So maybe you could have like a void. You could have like an int get weight, for example. So that might return the weight. And then you could also have like a set function. So I could have void set weight in case um, they started eating more and then gains weight. So you need to update the weight. So here I have m weight equals weight. And let's just add a display weight so we can see the weight as it changes. So we're going to say display weight. std c out m weight and then new line character okay so here we have uh, our getters and setters so get will allow us to access the private variable and then set will allow us to modify the private variable okay so let's say for uh, during the holidays the kitty started eating too much food so you could say um, well, let's let's first get the current weight. So let's say int weight equals emoji dot get weight, and then if we say emoji dot display weight, it will print out the weight. So if I run this, you see that it's ten, right? So like I said, um, it's gonna start eating more because it's the holidays and there's a lot of good food. So we're going to say emoji dot set weight and put 12 now. And if we display weight again, we should see the weight increase. So if I run the code, you see it went from 10 to 12. Okay. So that's how you use getters and setters. So this is an introduction to classes in C++. We'll go into more details and specifics of different applications in other videos. Uh, but for now, that will be it. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.